let's see how we can download Maven uh, and install it on a Windows machine. For the record, I am using Windows 10 machine, but you can use any version of Windows uh, which you are comfortable with or um, you, you have currently. So to get a copy of Maven, we need to go to the uh, official Maven website. Uh, under that, you will go to the download section and you will find the all the information and the files which are available for download, right? So if you're not able to download uh, and it is giving some error, it is because of uh, the mirrors, mirror link, right? So just change the mirror link and pick uh, any of the mirror link, any other mirror link if you're facing any problem with the download. So here you can see the binary files and source files. So source files uh, are not helpful for us. We need to have the binary files. Now, the tar.zip file is more associated with uh, the Unix or Linux systems, but for Windows, uh, we need to download the bin.zip file. So go ahead and download it, right? Uh, to save some time, I have already downloaded it uh, and it, it is under my download section. Now, I want to extract it, right? So I will do extract files. I will select a location I will prefer my C drive. So I'll just extract it there, right? Now it should be available in my C drive. You can see there's a folder Apache Maven 3.6.3, which is the latest version. And under that we have bin boot conf lib folders. Now we are more interested in the bin folder because we are going to set this path um, in the environment variables, right? So saying that, let's go back to our system control, control panel and under that advanced system settings, you will find environment variables. So go there and check system variables. We need to add system variables here for Maven and Java. Now make sure you have administrator, administrator privileges, uh, otherwise you will not be able to uh, add or edit these system variables, right? So let's go ahead and add uh, system variable for Java home and let's browse the directory. Now, depending on which version you have installed and where you have installed, uh, you need to check uh, the directory is same. So for me, it's under C program files and Java, right? Under that JDK 14. So I select this and add it. Similarly, I need to add uh, maven underscore home variable and similarly I will go to the C drive where my Maven installation is there. So here it is and I will add it. Now uh, we need to add those uh, variables into the path, right? So click on edit and new. Here you need to type percentage Java underscore home percentage slash bin, right? And similarly, you need to add another one for Maven. Maven underscore home percentage slash bin, right? So this will set our path for Java and Maven. And now click OK. Now to verify whether Maven and Java are installed and configured correctly in our machine, open a command prompt, right? So yeah, now check whether, you can check uh, whether Java is installed or not by just uh, typing Java and it will give you a list of uh, commands, right? You can also check the Java version installed on your machine and it's 1.8, right? Uh, so that's the GRE version. And then you can go ahead and type MVN. It will take some time to add that system part and configure, right? So you can see there are different Maven commands and it is giving a build failure because we don't have any build currently in Maven. So we are going to do that next. We are going to add a project and uh, do a build, right? Now you can also go ahead and check the Maven version for you, right? So 
this is the Maven version 3.6.3. Uh, and our runtime is uh, JDK 14, right? So that's all. Uh, this is how uh, you, you can install Maven on your Windows machine. Next, uh, we will see uh, how we can set up a sample project with Maven and build it.